first night first night truck camping we start quarantine tomorrow so um i think i'm gonna be living out of my truck back here for the next two weeks next 14 days and uh it's gonna be interesting i'm definitely just starting with, with the basics right now um i got a whole bunch of sleeping bags and blankets that i'm gonna lay down in the back for like a cushion and then all i'm really bringing tonight is my backpack my computer um maybe a little bit of food to make and uh we're gonna go out sleep overnight at a uh, public land spot and then wake up in the morning go scout for turkeys because turkey season is about two weeks away and uh scout for turkeys and look for horns so it should be a fun night tonight it's supposed to get down to like 38 so i hope i brought enough uh enough blankets but i'll uh, definitely be layered up have a couple sweatshirts on or i don't know i'll figure it out night number one though let's see how this progression goes in the next 14 days so this is going to be my living space um just the back of my truck uh, i got a topper on here which has a little vent window system which is going to be nice um just this one on this side doesn't have anything but i can also close it if i need open it as i need um, I was just letting it dry out because I did just go wash it. Just got a little bit of water in there. And uh, after that dries, we're going to get everything situated and get the bed back here. Should be a fun, should be a fun evening. I got just a couple extra pairs of clothes to sleep in tonight if needed. <sighs> oh, wow. Wow. This is uh, surprisingly pretty comfy all i did was throw a couple sleeping bags up here and oh i'm about ready for a nap wow this is gonna go pretty good i think for night number one uh just learning the basics right now just trying to figure out what i need to do to be able to survive the back of my truck so this is step one let's see uh let's see how the night goes all right guys we made it to the spot that we are staying tonight um got my bed back there crazy to think about but uh Sobe's already here out there just lurking for some antlers right now um i think i'm gonna go walk around see what i can find uh this is kind of just a scouting mission so um see if we can find some turkeys maybe while we uh look for look for some antlers so let's get after it let's walk in there let's uh see if we can go find Sobe. just started walking in and look at this this looks like a, a, it's a stick, but it looks like a giant old, like, horn. Like the main beam's here, brow tine. Main beam comes out, big point down here. Wow. Okay, so we made it to a corner of the property, the public land that I'm out scouting. And uh, there's a whole bunch of posted signs right here. So I'm just going to call. Um, I'm still on the public land side, but... Um, private stuff is really close over here and there's a nice big valley down there that they could walk right through so i might do a little calling here and uh see if i can get anything to fire back So one nice thing about having this, there's a river that runs right down through the bottom of it all. And it's wide open, so there's geese here. I'm not the best caller. I mean, I've had this call here. Um, it's a Woodhaven. Um, for two years now, um, I've liked it a lot. I've called in birds with it last year. I did for the first year of using it. Um, but I've been just using it around the house a little bit, but I've been driving around. Um, No, those are geese. Shoot. Um, yeah, I'm going to just keep walking, follow this uh, little CRP. I'm going to follow this little CRP field back further, further back into where this is all is. I'm going to follow the CRP field all the way to the back of the property, um, kind of scout over there, see how the terrain is in the wood side, because this is all pretty like ravine -y stuff, big hillsides. Um, let's get up there. Let's keep walking down. So 
So as you can see, I've made it into the woods. Um, I just followed the trail that came out of the CRP land that came over this big ridge that leads out behind me. Um, there's some spots that the um, ground is all muffled up. Um, I don't know if it's from deer or if it's from uh, turkeys. Um, I, I did a little calling and nothing fired back, but uh, I'm gonna keep walking, trying to find some horns. Um, see if I can locate a little group of turkeys before uh, they head up to the roost. Um, see if I can put them to bed. So on to, onward and forward and forward and onward, onward and forward, forward and onward, something like that. I don't know. We'll see you. Have a good one. Whoa, that was a weird looking mushroom or uh, whatever that was. Onward and forward, forward and onward. We have a pan, we have burgers, we have some some seasoning, um, we got buns, we got ketchup. Soby brought his little buddy heaters, <laughs> little heater cooker thing, so uh, we'll be cooking on that. Yeah, right. We got some burgers. And we got a cooker, so uh, let's get to cooking, huh? You hungry? Let's cook some jacks. <laughs> We're all alright. We're all alright. Hello. Hello. Yeah, should we chill? Yeah. Can we get this thing ripping? Yeah, let's get her going. Oh, yeah. First park. Let's go. Just cooking up a little soup for an appetizer. So we brought the soup, we got burgers on deck, so we also got Steve Weiser, so happy days everybody, happy days. Now tell me that doesn't look freaking gorgeous. Oh yeah, some fresh burger. A little bit of ketchup. Oh yeah. Sesame seed bun. Whoo! There's the final product right there. Just a regular burger, no cheese. Uh, just wanted to say simple tonight. But uh, let's get a let's get a little mouth on this piece. I'm gonna probably let it cool down for a little bit, but try it. No, I'm try scared. It. <laughs> Two bites, not even one. Mm. Yeah. Tell me it's good. <laughs> it doesn't suck. <laughs> I know, dude. It's good. Wow. Oh, God! Sheesh! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right, so current time is uh, 10.36, and me and Soby were just talking for probably the last uh, hour and a half, two hours about, you know, kind of what we all went over. So we got here... Um, like a couple hours before I did. And uh, so he kind of just took off and I just kind of sort of went back there um, like two hours after he got here. Um, I headed a completely different direction, um, kind of walked over some of the stuff that he actually went over. But uh, we met up uh, kind of by sundown and uh, walked back, um, had some delicious supper, a um, couple burgers, a little can of soup. It was actually really good, I'm pretty full right now. But I think I'm going to head to bed here, um, wake up probably at 5.36, get over, try to find some turkeys, um, kind of creep my way in, maybe call once the sun's coming up just a little bit. But uh, it's kind of crunchy out. The leaves are pretty crunchy walking through the woods, but um, 
hopefully we'll be able to find some. If not, we're looking for some sheds. So it's always fun looking for some uh, horns. Uh, when there's nothing really else to do during quarantine besides walk through the woods and go out and have a good one. So we're gonna head to bed. I'll see you in there. Current time is uh, like 7.15. Current temp is 38 degrees. Er, current temp is like 34 degrees. Um, pretty chilly out. I'm pretty cold. But uh, I, did. I only woke up once last night. And it was to take a pee at like... Mm, 3 a.m. I didn't feel much about getting into bed last night. I kind of just got in here. And honestly, I just, uh, I even forgot to grab my phone charger out of my truck. So when I woke up to take a pee, um, my phone was at 1%. So I've had it plugged in since. Ugh. Cold, but not freezing cold. Um, I mean, it was still decently cold, but I bundled up. I had a whole bunch of blankets. Um, I don't know how much scouting I'm going to do for turkeys down here this morning. Um, just for the sole fact that I didn't even put any to bed last night or I didn't hear any. Um, I know they got to be down here. I think they're just a little bit further down on the bottom of the ravines. Um, down closer to the food, but... Uh, I might wake up Sobe here in a, in a bit, see if he wants to go walk around and maybe get after that. But for now, I'm just going to kind of wake up a little bit. Oh, just made it home. Feels nice to be in um, an actual bed. But uh, that wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. First time out um, sleeping in the back of my truck. And I could definitely do it again for sure. Um, I definitely, just after one night, noticed that um, there's going to be a lot that I need to bring and have with me at all times. Because um, you never know. I mean, for instance, we needed plates last night and bowls. But um, definitely for the first time, being out, we weren't far from home. So if we did need anything, we could always go back. But um, awesome time. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys go down, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button comment and share um that'd mean the world to me so till next time until tomorrow actually uh have a good one guys we'll see you